Hello friends and welcome to my suburban garden. May you always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough. Shining from within, I can tell that you're tough. Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point makes a world of difference. Oh, you make me strong. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough. Shining from within, I can tell that you're tough. Ordering a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart and soul strong clicking on today's video and I'm assuming those of you that have clicked on the video are in the same situation that I'm in where you have you want to start a garden um, but you don't know where to start you don't know how much it's gonna cost you don't know that much about growing <laughs> I know none of it um, I've grown a tomato plant and a chili plant here and there over the years I was very successful at growing watermelon as a young child, um, and that was all by accident, but um, I am not a seasoned gardener whatsoever, so I am completely starting from scratch. I'm going to be taking you around. We bought a new home. We moved in in April, and since we moved in, we have been um, getting the drainage and the irrigation, small patch of grass and planters put in concrete and all of that. And we still have a wall that we're going to do. We're gonna DIY that. Um, but I want to plant a kitchen garden really bad. I want to be able to know that um, I can feed my family if I need to. And I don't have a lot of space to work with because it is a, like a suburban garden and um, we are in a neighborhood. However, we are on, kind of a large lot. Um, we do have one side of the um, of the house that is the length of the house and it is 10 feet wide. So it gets and and it, it sits this way. So the house is here and it sits this way um, and it gets the west sun rising. Um, and then about three o'clock in the and until about it gets all the sun until about I would say 1230 ish and then till three it's kind of in the shade and then from three o'clock until sunset it is full sun so it gets plenty of sun I hope um, it really is the only place that I can plant a garden um, so I'm hoping that it works out well for me. I originally wanted to do, I thought I was going to be able to use the fence slats on the side and do a uh, raised garden bed on each one of those slats, but my husband um, built the first one, as you can see in the beginning of the video, and it is eight feet by four feet. And um, so it's an eight by four. Um, Width-wise, lengthwise, eight feet, and then it is 12 inches deep. Um, we had our landscaper add DG over on that side, um, and he put a landscaping fabric down before he did the DG. Uh, I'm not exactly sure the cost of the DG. I'm not even sure if that's a, a good option. Um, he did put drainage over on that side, so I'm going to have to, um, because of, of where the raised beds sit, they cover up the drainage. I'm gonna have to cover those with gravel or rocks to stop soil from, you know, washing in there. Um, 
and my husband's going to have to feed me irrigation from one of the irrigation lines. But in the meantime, I'm, I have a hose bib over there. I will be watering old school, and I'm okay with that. Um, that's part of the joy of <laughs> planning a garden is um, spending your time in the garden. So um, I wasn't really sure when we were going to get this garden up and going, when I was going to be able to start planting. So what I did was... Um, I went online and I searched my area. There is a website where you can um, you can put in your address and it tells you what gardening zone. I didn't even know what gardening zone I was. And I am 9B, so I'm in Southern California, zone 9B. And um, I, I, from everything I've read, I guess we're really fortunate here. We have a really long growing period, a really long growing um uh, you know season about nine months um, out of the year but I then went and I searched what I can plant month by month um, to see you know uh, what that was and really the only month for planting that um, wasn't in there was January so um, we have a really long growing season here, so that's wonderful. Um, we do have frost where we live. Now, I am further east than I was before, so I'm not really sure what that looks like here. Um, so this will be our first season going into it, so I don't know. Um, that's something I'm just going to have to play by ear. But my plans for the landscape is... Um, I want the landscape to feed my family, so I don't want the landscaping to be just beautiful, um, you know, trees and um, shrubs and that, flowers. I am going to have some of that, but I've been doing a lot of research on different trees and plants and, and all of that that I can plant in my landscape, landscape that is beautiful but will also feed my family. So I'm going to be doing that, and I'm going to take you guys along with me as I build this garden. Um, I'm going to take you guys with me, and um, we're going to do it together. It's going to be trial. It's going to be error. I have no idea what I'm doing, <laughs> none whatsoever. So if you are a seasoned gardener and you see me making mistakes, I want you to leave me a comment and let me know that I'm making a mistake. Um, I have researched and researched and researched you guys since last year. Um, when we bought this house and while we were waiting for it to be built and I Have just watched so many. There's so many wonderful videos out there um, People who garden all over the place all over the world um, But I you know specifically was looking for I was looking for areas that were um, somewhat similar to where I'm at and um, now that I've narrowed down what my zone is, I think that that's going to be super helpful. So it's really hot out <laughs> right now. We are in August, mid-August here, and um, our hottest month is September, although we are going to have about, um, I think, five or so 80-something degree days. Um, so I am looking forward to that, but the humidity has just been insane here. So that's why I'm inside videotaping this. I would like to be outside, but the flies and the humidity, I just, I couldn't take it. So um, I'm going to be taking you guys along with me. I'm going to take you on a tour of what my plans are um, and show you exactly, you know, what we plan on doing. Um, and then I'm going to show you my, uh, I just printed it up, I created it on Canva. I literally just copied and pasted and made my own um, booklet or handbook, like a growing thing, and left room so that I can write notes along the way. Um, I hope to get to a point to where I can do, um, to where I can do, uh, like seedlings. Um, I ho hope to have a space to do that um, at some point on my journey. But um, I think for right now, just for instant gratification purposes, because I'm so excited, I think I'm going to buy a lot of things that are already growing from the nursery in my area. I know for sure that my first garden <laughs> container is going to be a salsa garden. Um, and that is because we eat a lot of salsa. So um, I'm looking ex I'm looking forward to that, but I'm going to take you guys on a tour of the yard and of the landscape and give you guys an idea of, you know, what it looks like up close and what the plans are for that and, you know, how I plan on, I guess, kind of homesteading. <laughs> 
I don't have any animals, although we are zoned for for that. Um, I just don't have the, the yard for it. Neighbors behind me have super huge yards. If I had a yard that size, I would definitely have chickens, but we do live in the country. Um, so I do have lots of farms around me, places where I can go get fresh eggs and, um, and all of those fun things. But um, I'm going to concentrate on fruits and veggies. Um, I don't know how soon I'll get to the fruit part, but um, definitely the veggie part to start with. So let's go ahead and take a step outside and check out the gardening space. <clears throat> so we are standing on the back patio and this is um, all new concrete here and all new concrete here. And then this is our small patch of grass. So I have all of this this all the way around here to plant and then I had the landscaper leave me this open here so that I can plant here and then as you walk over here to the side of the house this is where I will be doing the kitchen garden and as you can see my husband has already built me my eight foot by four foot by 12 inches deep first gardening container and I can get two more over there. I originally had thought I wanted to get one per panel but I think it would just be too crowded because I do plan on um, doing some just individual container gardening in here because I have all this room over here and just to give you a better idea of how deep it is and I do plan on putting a shed over here. I'm going to need a shed for my tools and, you know, extra soils and fertilizers and all of that. But, um, yeah, kind of give you an idea. So I'll be able to get one here and then another one in between. And then I'm going to do some individual um, gardening. Now, right now you can see the sun is... Um, now just giving me a sliver the house is shading it over here so at about let's see what time is it right now I'm not sure I'll put the time in the in the link below but uh, or and I'll put the time up here on the um, video but we also have some clouds in the sky but as soon as the Sun comes over here to right here this is when this whole side is sunny so I get the morning and then like I said I get a few hours of this and then eventually it's all um, so we're gonna go with it we're gonna see I'm praying that it works because like I said this is really the only spot um, that I can do a kitchen garden and these are three feet in depth or yeah depth all the way along the back and then you can see we've cut um, a larger space over here and I think I want to plant citrus a citrus tree over here I want to plant fruit trees all along here fruit and I want to tuck in some blueberries um, where I can um, same with over here I'm not exactly sure what um, but the beauty is we have no houses directly behind us. Um, these are all yards. This goes to this house here, and then these yards go to this house here. So I don't have any, um, anybody behind me directly, but, um, I also have these huge patios, you know, where I'm going to be able to do some raised bed planting, um, some container gardening. Um, I want it to be aesthetically pleasing, but I also want it to be practical. So I have been looking at different options at Home Depot, but I think that I can, um, well, Lowe's and Home Depot and online on Amazon. Um, because once, like I said, the sun gets over on this side, over on this side, this is all complete sun. So, um, yeah, so I have, um, an area where I can plant. Um, if I wanted my stuff in full sun, um, 
it would have to be in the front. I'm going to take you out there as well because we had the front completely changed. You'll be able to see the difference. But <clears throat> this is what I'm working with, guys, for um, my suburban garden. So it's going to be interesting to see. My husband wants to build me a um, fence that goes here but we have to do something that isn't going to block sunlight from coming into this bed here so it's gonna have to be like a hog wire fence of some sort um, and I'm planning on doing trellises on the back end of all of these garden beds um, here and this one and this one and this one when we, he gets these two built he built this one yesterday for me so that I could have an idea um, but these and these are the drainages I was talking about he put them in here um, lined them up here but you can see it's inside the garden bed now ideally my husband could have built this just a little bit shorter and he may still I'm not sure um, but I wanted as much growing as I can in these beds and I haven't decided if I there's so many different ways to plan I haven't decided what I'm going to do but um, I've got a block um, you know the soil from getting washed down into that drain I'm going to have the same issue with the other two as well so um, stay tuned to see <laughs> how I do that but <clears throat> like I said this area here let me back up a little bit to give you an idea he wants to do like give me like an entrance which I'm so appreciative of because um, you know I want it to be I don't know my little I don't know a fun little getaway so I really want to deck this out with plants and pots and all of that fun stuff so I'm, I'm you know dream of a gate to get in and like an arch with you know some sort of vine but not but an edible vine something maybe beans or string beans or something growing on it we'll see but I really have to be careful to not block um, most of the day's sun um, from getting into this garden bed so um, we shall see. I originally had wanted to connect the, um, if you can imagine the other one here, um, I wanted to connect them with a trellis that arched over and grow my beans on both sides. But I think that if I do that, this is going to block these plants from getting sun. So I have to be really careful and strategic on how I do that. But, um, but we'll see. But I think it'll look really pretty to have, um, you know a fence of some sort here I have my water spigots outside here but that's okay I'm going to I have this here for my hose um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, you know put it over here inside the dirt you know that way I have a place for my hose and I have electrical over here too so if I wanted to do lights at it at night that would be really pretty I can always string lights, um, you know, the garden lights that come over the top. I don't know. But I have electrical. I have water here, so that's good. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited with, um, with this here. So I'll try and insert a clip later in the day um, if I remember to come out and show you what time it is and how the, you know, where the sun is at um, here. But <clears throat> you can see right now. It is, let me see what time it is, hold on. Okay, just to give you a point of reference right now, we have a sliver of, of sun, it's going away quickly, and it is 11.30 a.m. So I'll come back later in the day and give you guys um, an idea of what kind of sun I'm getting here. Now let's go take a look at the front and I'll give you an idea of what I'm doing up there. find your way to higher ground may you always keep your head held up high okay so this is the steps that we had um, installed and then a courtyard and then we had the driveway extended over on this side and of course a sidewalk going over there 
I plan on planting um, two crepe myrtles over here on this side. We've already got the axleaf privets planted around here, which will turn into a beautiful head. We planted them around the courtyard as well. Um, everything was so expensive when we were getting quotes. And um, I told my husband, let's create a green wall. So we got a really great deal on these wax leaf privets from um, a nursery that's literally um, a block away. <laughs> um, and so we decided to buy enough so that we can get them planted. I think they're about a foot and a half, 18 inches apart, so that they'll grow um, really fast and create a nice green wall. And we'll let them get probably about um, this tall. Um, you know, up and, and box them out really nice and everything. Um, this riverbed is something that the builder installed in everybody's yard, and I don't hate it. However, it used to come from over here on the other side of the steps and come around this way. So we moved everything. Oh my gosh, that was such hard work over here and created it. Now I have a bunch of rocks on top, you can see because I still have landscape fabric from this point this way that I have to pull up and amend the soil. And um, so I gotta get that out. And once I get that and the soil amended and ready for planting, I plan on taking wet river rocks that are extra and just kind of feathering them out here. Um, and I'm going to be planting in front of this, I believe white roses. And I haven't, and then I'm going to scatter some white roses up in here as well. And we're, we have some more wax leaf privets in the back um, that we need to plant, and we're going to plant them just to separate yards. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do up here yet. It's just been so hot. I haven't wanted to get out here, but this is all amended all the way to right here. So um, I got to go from here to, uh, let's see, from here to basically where that weed is right there. I've got to go. So maybe just a little bit further. Those are the neighbor's plants. So just a little bit past that, I've got to go to right here. Pull that up, throw in some amend, um, till it. I bought a really cool little tiller. I'll show you guys in a minute. It's an electrical tiller. It's come in handy. It's gonna come in handy in the backyard as well. But this is what we have so far. I'm gonna plant some sort of low growing hedge here or bushes here because we extended the driveway by a foot on this side and two feet on that side. But um, I don't want anything that's gonna grow real tall here because when you park and you open your door, you don't want it to hit. So I gotta get something low here. And my husband's got the lights. He needs to install those here. We have all the cord, all the electrical running so that we can carry landscape lighting throughout the whole garden. I plan on putting a couple of pots up here at the entryway to flank the entryway, and I can do some beautiful um, gardening, or uh, container gardening, you know, for seasonal, and that kind of stuff for um, as you enter to the front. So you can see our concrete is still curing, um, but it's so nice to have steps coming up. And it's a pretty nice space. Um, I believe this is 10 feet from here to here, but in the afternoon, it's absolutely lovely. So anyways, let's go back. Let me, let me show you guys the tiller. So this is my little electrical tiller that I got. Um, it was uh, super affordable. I think it was like $130. It's electrical, so it gets, you know, plugged in. I like that. It's small, it's compact. Another reason why I need a shed is to put all of my my gardening, everything that's here in the garage. Um, but it's the perfect size. See, I wear a size 10 shoe. So it's real small, um, not meant to do gigantic jobs, but um, is perfect for what we're using it for. It is a cultivator by Greenworks, the 11 inch. Um, and it's lovely, you guys. If you're looking for an affordable tiller um, to till up your, your ground, this is the piece of equipment that you want. And I got this one at Lowe's. Um, I'll look for the link and I'll link it down below for you. <clears throat> it 
so that's pretty much it. Um, that is what I have to work with. And um, my husband is only home on the weekends, so he can only build on the weekends. And we did downgrade from a, a truck to a, a small SUV. So we can only fit the wood for one in our car. So I think when he comes home this weekend, he's gonna have our son meet him at the store um, with his truck. So he can buy the wood for both, for the other two um, beds. Um, I'm gonna go to a local garden center that's not far from here, just a couple miles. And I'm gonna see about getting the raised garden bed soil delivered. I did the math. Um, there is a website, I'll link it down below, where you can just put in the measurements of your, um, your raised garden bed, and it'll tell you either cubic feet or cubic yards, how much soil you need. And for one of these, I need 1.2 cubic yards or 32 bags. Um, they're not cheap in a bag, um, so I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be doing it by the yard which means more work <laughs> because you buy it, they dump it in your driveway and you have to, you know, fill your wheelbarrows and bring it, but that's fine. Um, I'm okay with that. Anything to save money. It is very hot out here, you guys. So anyways, I'm going to go check that place out and see what that costs because I really want to get stuff in the ground. Um, even though he hasn't ran any drip irrigation, I'm okay with that. Um, I, like I said, I'm okay with doing it old school and bringing my hose out and, um, and you know, watering and all of that stuff. So anyways, if you are interested in this kind of video and it's something that you've been wanting to do learn, and you want to learn how to do it, learn with me. <laughs> Go ahead and click the subscribe button and click like if you like these kinds of videos. And um, thanks for the air conditioner for turning off. Um, but... Um, the you know this is all new to me it's nothing that i've done before so i'm going to be learning as i go i'm not an expert so don't think you're going to come and watch this video and get you know every I, we're going to be learning together <laughs> so um i'm sure i'm going to make mistakes and i'm okay with that um the next video it will probably be me getting my first um, garden bed planted um, and possibly my husband making the, um, the, the other two um, raised beds for me. That way you guys can see how he does that. Um, he just did it because he builds stuff, but I'm sure you can find a plan online. It's really not that hard. Um, he went with the easy route, the less cutting, the better. Um, so he just bought the wood, the length, and he just had to cut the other ones in half. And <laughs> it was really simple um, and screwed them together. And um, I am going to be getting those planted and I really wanna get the tomatoes and my peppers in the ground that is um, something that I'll use right away as soon as I'm able to start harvesting that. So anyways, I want to thank you so much for watching today and make sure to click subscribe so that you can see the next video and watch this whole garden come together. Have a great day guys. Bye.